This video is going to look at giving template functionality to HR fulfillers in ServiceNow HRSD. I'll be uh, basically, this is a video version of this posting on my blog on uh, ServiceNow HRSD templates for HR fulfillers. So if we go over here and I'm logged into a PDI as uh, Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln has the SNHR core dot basic role. And I'm in a talent management case and with the template uh, bar toggled on, I have the plus sign here so I can create a new template from an existing record. Allows me to create a new template. Uh, I can also use the templates that are already existing. Um, so out of the box, it's not set up this way. You have to have at least the SNHR core dot uh, admin role. Um, so let's head over to the back end to take a look how we do that. Uh, so here I'm logged into the same instance as a sysadmin. And so the first step is going to be to give the users the template underscore editor role. Uh, so the, probably the best way to do that is uh, just go to the roles and find the SNHR core dot basic role. And then put the template role uh, underneath it. So, oops, I think. Uh, right, SNHR core basic. Okay, so let's do that. Actually, I think I assigned it directly to the user. That's uh, so we can just do go here, go template editor, and slide that over there. Okay, so now everybody with the uh, core basic role is also going to get the template editor role. So that's easy enough. The second step we have to do is we have to create two ACLs, and I've created these already. So the first ACL is uh, the operation is save as template and created in the human resources core application, which is the same table that uh, this talent management case table is in. And uh, it's just a record. Uh, so there's no, uh, it's a record rule. So there's nothing, uh, no field to specify and give it the core basic role underneath here. Now, I have experimented with this and I've only, I've given it the HR uh, case table, right? So the root table instead of the further down the line in the actual COE, in the talent management case. And it does work sometimes. Uh, so you can experiment with that and see if, um, if that'll work for you. I, I tried it a few times. It was working, and then it stopped working. I'm not exactly sure if this is why. Uh, I kind of also like the idea of assigning it directly to the end table and get it being as specific as possible in the ACL. Um, so, okay, we have this assigned to the talent management case. So that's the first ACL to create. And then the second ACL to create is the pretty much the same thing. Uh, but just give it a star here instead of a um, instead of the none. So instead of a table rule, it can be a field rule with the star in there. And after you do that, um, the users will have the ability who have the SNHR core basic role will have the ability to create templates. So now if we go back to Abraham Lincoln and we go back to the list of all cases. Uh, because I have this assigned only to the talent management uh, COE or table, if we go into another one like total rewards, we should see the template bar, but we don't have the plus sign, right? So no ability to add uh, templates for this. So if you wanted to add it for uh, the total rewards table, you would just copy those two uh, ACLs, only uh, giving them the, the total rewards table instead of the talent management table. 
Um, or you can try experimenting with uh, giving it the uh, root table. Well, actually not the root because the root table is task, but giving it the HR case table and uh, see if that works for you. So that is how you give HR fulfillers the ability to create templates in HRSD.